facility down there so he's in town we thought we just been driving out and see him one night it's Tuesday whatever Tuesday. But, yeah but it's got me thinking about something very important and I, I just it just popped into my mind that the um, art of representation or at least recruiting potential clients so um, basically this is what popped in my head and it's finding that new client is an art and it's about building a relationship. But I never thought about it from the those athletes, those, that talent, that actor, that artist that's also looking for a manager. And I just want to let them know that finding management is also an art and also about building relationships. So it's a very personal, very personal um that's a decision that you have to make and so i just had somebody hit me up on twitter and was basically asking me about you know would you represent me and i'm like wait dude you don't know me other than just you know interacting on facebook and i say it's a personal decision because when you're coming up in the your profession and you're growing you want somebody that's going to grow with you and I mean, some people, they go from zero to 60 in terms of the representation because their careers go from zero to 60 very fast, um, i.e. someone that wins American Idol or wins an Olympic gold medal, maybe they, they feel like they're going to get tons of endorsement deals or they feel like they're going to be the next big legend in their sport, like Michaela Schifrin going to Peter Carlisle at Oxford. But I digress. So anyway, when it comes to the point where you're growing in your career, and you're starting to receive money, whether it's for gigs, appearances, endorsement opportunities, you gotta know who you're working with. You have to know who you're dealing with. You have to know that you can trust this person. So, you know, whether it's accepting a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars on your behalf, that's a real personal decision. And you have to know who you're working with and who you're dealing with. And on the management side, I think artists, talent athletes, whoever should realize that you know, if I'm managing you, I don't get paid until you get paid. So I have to really believe in you. I have to really um, invest my own personal money, maybe money I made from another client and working with you. And understand that, you know, when we make money together and if I'm going to recruit that new next up and coming person, like a Scooter Braun, you know, maybe he's taking the money he made from Justin Bieber and he's using that to recruit or, you know, sign or work with the, uh, what's her name, Carly Ray Jepsen or, you know, the next up and coming person when he works with one of those boy bands, you know, he, yeah, the wanted, he's taking, you know, his resources that he's gained with Justin Bieber. And so I know I, I get when talent, they see, oh my God, they're working with this person. They must have a lot of connections and then they want to work with you. But that manager also has to believe in you. And they also have to make that personal investment. They have to take that money because you ain't generating anything starting out the gate. That's on the beginner side. And then there's a lot of other variables for the people that have been in their profession or industry uh, for maybe five plus years. Kind of like, for example, everybody's seen the TLC movie when TLC had already had relative success, but they had to change. And they went to somebody that had a little bit more experience in dealing with someone was at their level. So I guess another thing is, when you're working with someone in this industry, you guys have to be on the same level. The client and manager relationship, it needs to be on the same level. So if you're up and coming, you might be working, you might have to consider working with somebody that is up and coming. You guys come up together, Justin Bieber and Scooter Braun. You may be somebody that has had a little bit of success in your career. You might be dealing with a manager that had a little bit of success so far and you both or trying to take it up a notch and then you know a-list maybe work with a-list type of managers and you guys can grow together and so i think that's the key to finding that perfect manager client relationship 